So welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. This is Channeling Kriya, and today is September the 27th, 2020. Um, it's, I was actually just, just chatting to mention that there are, there are lots of new energies um, hitting us this week. Well, it's nothing new, of course, we've been bombarded by a lot of energies and i do find that the 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 latest though um the energies are it's a different quality to it i i don't quite know how how to put my finger around it yet i it's it's actually um so i think i have to just wait and see what the the facts is i do feel um like a um there's it's a little different quality to the to the amount of energy that is hitting us. So uh, I'm guessing that it's it's um, new new I should say um, it's coming from different parts of the galaxy. So that's what that's what I'm being told. So if you notice anything, um, then you know do do share. One, when we have the QA session or um, email me or just um, comment on posts, some of the posts that I, I put out. And so share with everybody. And I would like to just briefly describe again the, 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 the flow of the evening. So I'm gonna in, begin shortly to lead everybody into a brief meditation. And once we um, get that going, then uh, I would be tuning more and more into the energy of Kriya. And whenever that is strong coming through, then I'll start the channeling and then um, it will be over when it's over, when, when Kriya is done. So we will have our QA after that. So here we go. Let's start the, the meditation. So just... Breathe in and just follow the rhythm of your own breathing. Breathe in and breathe out as you normally would. And do try to relax. Turn your, your attention within yourself rather than listening to um, things that are going on in your head. Let your thoughts go. Let any thoughts about what happened earlier today or yesterday or what you are planning for next um, morning, just let all of those interference go and simply be with me right now. Be with everyone who is listening to this right now. Just be present to yourself. And when you are breathing in and breathing out, set the intention that you want to relax. And life is um, exciting. And oftentimes it's um, a little stressful. So take this opportunity now when we are doing this short meditation to really let yourself your body especially, to simply relax so that you don't have to worry about anything at all. Just be here with your breath, with your body. And just focus on breathing in and just think of each breath as you taking care of your body taking care of your mind, body, and soul just by paying attention and being mindful of your breathing. Set the intention that you are here in this moment with everyone else. And no one else at the same time. Just breathe 
and relax your body just because you want to because that is the most important intention that you can hold right now is to simply allow your body to be attuned to this moment then as you breathe in with each breath you breathe in imagine that you can actually take in all the nutrients all the energy that your mind body and soul need in order to feel complete in this moment Hold this intention of being complete, fulfilled, and absolutely enjoying this moment. Have nothing that you need to do, nothing else that you need to feel, than just be with your body, with your breath in this meditation. Honor your body. Your body is a beautiful instrument that is supporting you, supporting your experience on this magical playground called Earth, supporting the godlike wisdom that is residing within you that is expressing itself through your body in this time space. And that is what you're doing right now, is to simply be the best version of who you truly are in this moment. And when you can feel your body relaxing, being more present, and start to feel unconditional love for yourself, for your body, for each breath that you take. unconditional love. Welcome that within your heart. I love this moment unconditionally. I love this body unconditionally. I love this breath unconditionally. I love being here, being with all the people, all the other aspects of myself unconditionally in love. And allow this overwhelming sense of wellness an unconditional love to start to infuse your whole body to occupy all of the entirety of your energy body your physical body your mental body all of your bodies Breathe into your heart and feel this unconditional love for yourself and for all of creation. Invite Mother Earth to join you 
join into this energy field that we all are in right now. Mother Earth, we love you. We, your children. We, your alternative self. We love you. We welcome you to join with us with this consciousness that we all share, that we all experience. And we also invite in Father Sky, the sun, the star of our solar system. We love you. Father Sky, thank you. Thank you for being a part of all that is. We wish to join with you also. So that we can participate in your wisdom. so that we can start to have a bodily understanding of what it means to be a body and a consciousness at the same time. To be matter and consciousness at the same time. To be the creator and the created at the same time. Feel, feel the love of Father Sky and Mother Earth. And feel the blessing that is in this moment. Feel the abundance that is in this moment. In this world, there are so many things that is vying for our attention, competing for our attention. That's why we just want you to be in this moment, to be, to truly experience all that is available simply by being in this moment, accessing the full extent of your being, not just your body, not just your mind, but all parts of you, the divine parts of you, and the animist, animalistic part of you. They are not two different things. Because as a creator, you have created this body. You have created each and every experience for yourself.
So take time. Take all the time that you need to experience everything, all of your creation. It does not matter whether you were conditioned to label an experience as good or to label an experience as bad. They are all your creations. Be mindful of your creations. And when you can fully appreciate why you have created what you have created. And when you have fully tapped into all of the conscious and unconscious inputs that you have given into each creation. And you can become the skilled creator, the expert creator. And you would be able to easily maneuver and change the way you relate with your creation. Change the way that you create. We often create with only knowing half of the decks that we have in our hands. The others, we don't want to look at. We don't want to know about them. And we think that by not looking at them and not paying attention to them, that we can create without them. And that's not the case. Be impeccable. Be impeccable with your creation. And you can only do that by looking at the results, by really experiencing each and every one of your creation. And you would actually be able to remember how you created this. when you can let go of playing this hide and seek with your own consciousness and be fully open to looking at each and every one of the components of your creation. You can become the expert, expert creator. That is where you're heading. That is where all this playground is for. It's a training. It's a training for you to be experts. So let go of judging your creation. They have all been excellent creations. It's an excellent creation if you can learn from it. Take a few more moments now. to be with us in this moment. We want you to know that 
Yes, you're going through a lot of changes at a DNA level, at a soul level, both matter and energy, both sides, lots of changes because this is what you wanted. This is what you called in. This is what you signed up for is to have this massive change. And before this massive change can really take hold. We want to assist you in letting go of some memories that you have forgotten. Forgotten because they are not exactly your experience, not in this lifetime. They are not exactly your ancestors experience as well. Some of these imprints actually pass down from before, before you have ever come on earth. They are actually written, written into the galactic Akashic record. They happened outside of earth, but they, those events affected earth as well. Because if it affects one space time, it affects all space time. So you don't really have to consciously remember them. Although some of you may be able to consciously remember them. And if you don't, then that's okay. Do not require that you need it to remember it consciously. Just know that. on some level. You remember this. Some of the fear, some of the anger that you feel it's not, it's not from earth. It's not from your lifetimes on earth. They are not exactly your experience. It belongs to the whole galaxy. And now the whole galaxy is ready to let it all go, to start to transform it. All the galactic walls that have been fought, all of those. that on some level, you're so remembered. And when you incarnate on earth, you took on the 
in the ability of being in a body. To really let go of those imprints, to transform those imprints so that the whole galaxy, the all of creation could be transformed. Because your body is special. Your vessel is special. That is why the human body is so magnificent. Because your body is special. Your DNA is special. It is the best. The best of creation. Perhaps one day we would be able to create something better. But for now, your body is the top of the line model in terms of bodies. So if you feel in some way that your body is not good enough, that it is insufficient, then you're wrong. This body is actually absolutely magnificent. It has capabilities that you have no idea. So when we ask you to breathe in your body, breathe life into your body. Do so. Breathe in joy, light, love into this body. Feel the joy, light, love within and allow this joy, light, love that is innate in your body to transform. To transform any of the residual disturbances has been created by all the galactic walls, has been fought when the galactic timeline has been less evolved. Times have changed, and so have we, so has our consciousness. Breathe in the consciousness of joy, light, love.
and choose, choose this moment. Choose to work with your body to let go. Let go of any doubt. Let go of any fragments of uncertainty. Let go of any emotional disturbance. Let go of anything that is holding you back from enjoying joy, light, love, from being, from embodying your essence. And let go of any belief that you can be anything other than joy, light, love. See that within yourself. See that around you. See the joy, light, love around you. See the joy, light, love in everyone around you. We want to thank you and we want to wish you all the abundance in the universe because you deserve it. Because each of you has chosen to be here on earth to do this work. To participate in this transformation, not just transformation for a part of the people on earth, but it's a transformation that is going to impact all of creation and you're doing that right here right now that is why the human collective has accepted and wanted to participate in the Luciferian experiment. It's for a reason. The reason is to be, to become this powerful transformer 
that will transmute all the trauma that were created at a time when the earth and when the world, when all of creation were younger and not as wise as it is right now. And we haven't quite perfected how to play with each other yet. All of that energy that has been created We've come here to clean up. The sadness you feel is not just your sadness, but it is the sadness of all of creation. And when you transmute that, you transmute it for all of creation. Same for the anger, same for the frustration, same thing for shame, all of those. When you transmute them, you don't just transmute it for your own benefit. You do it for everyone's sake. Everyone on earth and everyone everywhere else. They feel, they can feel. The whole energy field being upgraded to the point where these lower energies can never be experienced anymore because they have been completely transmuted. It's no longer accessible. And in this way, we all benefit and step up we all arise we all move on to the next level never again be able to go back to where we were before because the energy is simply not there. Those thought forms that we have played with before simply has no support. And when you think of anger. It is no longer an emotion that you can access anymore. Because your body fully transmuted that piece of code, that energetic range that was reserved for anger. It simply is not there anymore.
there will come a time when joy, light, love is all that is available. That would be a glorious time. Imagine being able to create. Not from contrast, not from duality, but create, enjoy light love. and be able to access limitless levels of joy, light, love that is at a much higher level than you can ever imagine right now. So let that sink in. This is all of your doing. This is the reason why you have agreed to be here. Not here, just on this call, but here on earth to play the role that you are playing. Each one of you are here to do that. Plus all the other things that your imagination can dream of as well. But even if you do nothing else, you're already doing very important work. You're here to transmute all of that. That is why we are filled with unconditional love for you. We love you very much. Thank you for all the things that you have done and all the things that you have not done because they are all divinely designed. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is missing. You are simply doing the best, all that you can do. Thank you for being the transformer. Thank you for being the transformative healer of all of creation. To sign up to be here to feel all that you are feeling and to transmute 
and transcend. Thank you, thank you, thank you.